Hey guys, today I have a creation that I'm calling the Stop and Go Sorting System, or SAG for short. You can use as many sorting systems as you want and they can all be on a single rail line. Stick around if you want to see how to build this creation. So the way this works is each one of these is a SAG sorter. This one will handle iron as indicated there. This one will handle diamonds and this first one will handle stone. So a little bit of a demonstration here. Let me input some stone, uh, some of those diamonds uh, and some of the iron. And also let's input some blocks that it can't be sorted with this current setup. So first it's doing the stone. And let me just place some blocks here so it doesn't fall into the void. So after it's done with the stone, then it'll verify that it's not sorting anything anymore. And then it'll send it to the diamonds. And that was very quick because I think I only put two in there accidentally. Um, but when it's done with the iron, then it'll send it over here. And as we see there, the quartz is still in there uh, because these are in fact sorters. And they only handle the items that they're supposed to handle. And you could actually feed these directly into your storage systems if you want. It's very simple. I have a chest over here to symbolize the first of like a silo or something. So very simple to add into your existing systems. So first we need to make an acceleration track going into it and the reason for that is it needs enough acceleration to um, go over this block otherwise it'll sort of just get stuck there. So I think three ought to do the trick. So after that we could have it go directly into our sorting uh, sag sorting setup thing. So a uh, detector rail there, a block and then a uh, hopper with a powered rail on top of it. And when we're done with that, we could start with the redstone. So furnace there with dust on top of that, and that will go into a uh, repeater, ultimately going into this powered rail uh, with a torch over there. And the reason why we need to shut this off is uh, this will actually give it enough acceleration to uh, go on uh, the middle of this block and um, this hopper block thing there and uh, that means that it's actually going to be touching that powered rail and if it was on constantly then it'll send it off way too soon before we even have a chance to sort anything so we need to shut that off so that won't happen and that's what that system does over there but underneath this to finish off the sorting system we need to have another hopper there and then a comparator going into a block going into a repeater on two, uh, two ticks of delay and if you know sorting systems then this uh, looks pretty familiar um, same basic principles and then we need to turn that comparator onto subtract mode and have um, an item in this furnace just so we're subtracting one from the signal length so uh, it'll work correctly and when we're done with that we could actually uh, add our uh, items into this hopper and I think I want to sort some uh, quartz just because we couldn't earlier and the amount we need is four on that side and then 18 on the left or whatever uh, just so it equals 22 ultimately uh, so that's enough there and then on this side we can have a torch coming out of that torch and that will be going into a dust where a sticky piston will hold a redstone block and that's going to power this hopper dropper model stable yes and this hopper dropper model stable is going to go into another piston underneath this block over here come over here and then underneath this block next to that hopper we need another piston there and that piston will just put a block behind the cart so it'll tell the cart hey uh, it's actually time for you to move and then it'll go to the next station so let's give this a little test uh, extend it out a bit so my cart doesn't go into the void so mine cart with chest there we go and let's input some quartz into it and send it off so it'll stop there and then um, it'll do its little sorty thing going into that bottom hopper and uh, when it's all done it'll tell the system hey I'm no longer transporting any items it's back to 18 uh, before the system constantly had 19 in it while it was sorting so when it goes back to 18 then this logic over here does its thing this redstone block retracts powering the dropper hopper and then that will uh, tell this piston to extend and that'll push the cart along its way. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Maybe you could use this in your survival worlds. I know I'm certainly going to. Um, it's definitely a useful little creation. But until next time, I guess, goodbye.